Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I have the uh, Wolf in Time box unboxing for you. This used to be a box that had different tiers, different levels um, and different prices, but she has now gone to just a one box per month. And it's just the Wolf in Time box. Um, I've been really looking forward to this. So we're just gonna go ahead and get right into it. I believe the theme was Gaelic Sea, if I'm not mistaken. And this is what it looks like when you open it up. And it looks like she's changed her business cards as well. So this is the business card. And on the back, it does say uh, the subscriptions are the monthly spiritual self-care box, which is the Wolf and Time box. And then she does have a more um, male-oriented box. Um, it's the quarterly Norse masculine box called Bone and Steel. Um, so the Wolf and Time is eight to 10 items, it's $54. And then the quarterly uh, Bone and Steel box is five to seven items, and that is $42 per box and there's all her contact information if you are interested in going and checking her out. Um, we're gonna get right into this here. It looks like we have a card on the top. So it's like a little oracle card and it's a nice ocean scene and we got beauty. May you perceive nature's artistry afresh. Very pretty colors. I really like the colors on that card. Uh, let's see. This is a instructions for a craft by the looks of it. Oh, and there was also an email um, that she sent to us about a typo in the paperwork about one of the items. And I didn't look at it because I didn't want the spoiler. Um, so there is going to be something in here that there is a typo about in the paper so it's not going to be correct and i can't really get to my email right now because i am filming on my phone so i will put that information down in the description box below once once i figure out what it is all right so here is the paper Ooh, and it looks like she went back to this nicer um like fabric paper it doesn't i don't think it's a seed paper like she used to do but all right, so yes, it is Gaelic Sea. With the ocean wind on our faces and the Celtic shores at our toes, we will be exploring the folklore, magic, and craft of the Gaelic ancient energy that gives us rich culture, the song of the Selkie, and the cleansing joy of nature's creative flow. So let's go on a journey together and get lost on an adventure into the Gaelic Sea. All right, and ooh, another really, really nice um, paper here and this is um, Selkie the seal good folk or fay origin the Gaelic Sea this is very very pretty informational artwork very nice and then this is the artwork that she did it's super cute again loving the colors Look at the cute little sea lions and the beautiful ocean colors. And then next we have a Gaelic sea stew recipe and it looks like we got a little packet of herbs here. Again, on this really pretty parchment. And we got like a little packet of herbs here and let's see what we've got here. It looks like we've got like a little project kit all put together here with this cute little clip. And we've got a little piece of paper here, a little rose cut out, uh, some more little ephemera, little um, one cent notes some graphing paper. Oh, we got another card. So we've gotten these cards in a box previously, as above, so below. I don't remember what deck this was from, but this one is a different one. And I got the Ram, which is perfect because I am an Aries. So 
That is awesome. Very, very pretty artwork on that card. Uh, and then it looks like we got some, like, on this side it's like old ledger. And then on this side it's got some uh, cute little mushroom print. And then we got two pieces of, like, scrapbooking, like small 5x5. Five by five. I think they're 5x5 five by five, or 6x6, six by six, one or the other. 6x6 six six scrapbooking paper. I could get this all back together here. Probably not. All right, and then the next thing I see, ooh, this is so cute. Look at this adorable little book. Look how pretty that is. Nice little clasp on the front here. Just pulls down like that. Whoop. And we got a little sticker fell out of there, a little moon sticker. Uh, yeah, this is super cute. This is just some plain paper. It's really thick paper, almost like a watercolor paper, I think. Really pretty. I wonder if she made these. Very, very cute. Um, where's my paper? I haven't even said anything about any of this stuff, so let's see. So it says, okay, Gaelic Sea Travelogue and Vintage Ephemera Packet. So that goes with the ephemera there. Uh, your new handcrafted journal is embossed leather and comes in either blue or brown with a hook lock and cotton recycled paper inside. It is ready for you to record all of your stories, poems, Celtic myths, sea observations, sketches, spells, recipes, rituals, thoughts, meditations, oracle readings, dreams, or travels with. It also comes with your own unique ephemera packet of vintage paper made just for you so that you can be as creative as you want to start your expressive pages with beauty and craftsmanship, making every word sing like the song of the silky. Uh, the journals are from a small business in New Hampshire and the packets were put together by Wolf and Time. Yay, New Hampshire. All right, next we've got a shell, very pretty little seashell. Um, oh, this must be uh, stones here. I like the bag too. They get um, little, just little printed. It's a little um, ship on there. It's light, but you can see it. And it looks like we got two stones in here. Oh, I think I have one like this. This is, I think this is like a, a possibly a fire quartz and then this one, I want to say like a venturine or something, but I could be completely wrong. Let's see if it's what it says on here. Oh, it is a venturine. Ha ha. Score for me. All right. So it is premium aventurine and bonus crystal. So on the wild Gaelic sea, the boats would look upon the shore during the storms for the fire of the lighthouse to see their way to safety or have a fire upon the sand as the waves crashed while enjoying a fresh fish meal or light a candle and watch the sunset over the ocean's horizon. So for this box, you get two crystals of both the water and fire elements. You will either have an adventuring free form and red tiger's eye or a double palm stone set of adventuring and fire quartz, clear and orange red or aventurine and rhodonite, dark pink and black. Uh, let's see, aventurine blue green has all the elements of wind, water and earth and activates the heart in the third eye chakras. Its focus is on vitality, growth, confidence, psychic attunement, self-discipline and inner strength. As you work with the stones, it helps you feel more comfortable in one's own skin, like the Selkie, to bring out your innate powers and sensitivities, which may have been blocked by inner disharmonies, gives you strength and optimism, greater prosperity, and the willingness to embrace change and growth while releasing the past. So love these, love this color. And I have another one just like this. Um, I think it was actually from a previous box of hers possibly in like the kitchen, the kitchen focus, kitchen witch focus box. But anyways, very pretty. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna pull out this little gray bag, with this little gray um, kind of 
my suede bag. And this, oh. Oh. So this has got like a little um, like sigil in it. I don't know if you could see it. It's carved in there really, really lightly. I think this is a ruined stone. Maybe. Talisman rune stone. One of a kind, this is the second in this exclusive set. So I didn't get the first one because I didn't get the first box that she started doing just the one tier. Um, the talisman rune stone is a divination tool and a symbol that has both meaning and magic in it from a sacred and ancient source. It is hand engraved and hand stained from quartz stone and comes in various sizes and shapes to represent the wilds of nature. The symbol represents the rise and curl of the waves that can either crush you if you resist it or safely bring you to shore if you let yourself go with its flow. It also has one dot representing the orb of spirit and universe that is always there protecting and watching over you if you only trust. Okay, I see the little dot. I don't know if anybody else can see it, but it's very hard to see on the camera. All right, let's see here. We have got a little bag here uh gaelic sea comer bag this is pretty i love this i love little bags little reusable bags this is really nice so i'm assuming it's a sea comer they're calling it the sea comer bag because it, you when you put your shells and stuff in it the water is going to drain out of it, but this would also make a really good um, produce bag. And I think, let's see. Oh yeah, deduct tear weight. So you could use this as a produce bag. It's even got the tear weight on it to deduct. So what does this say in here? Uh, I wonder if this is the thing that was the misprint because I'm not seeing this on here. So that must be what this was. So I'm wondering what is on there that isn't in the box, but I guess we'll find out. All right, put that aside. And then it looks like we've got, I'm not sure what this is. This is cute though. It's really, really soft. It's like a little bracelet. Is it a bracelet? Uh, the silky skin bracelet handcrafted by golden falcon this soft silky bracelet was hand knitted by my daughter brianna who made them each with intention of connecting you to the energy of the sea the story of the silky and that each time you stroke its softness you are comforted by it it has a ceramic bead at the end glazed in the color of the ocean and can be tied to your adjusted comfort very cute i love that her daughter is helping her out with this stuff i don't know if you can see the knotting detail in that and then a little ceramic bead at the end very cute i love that all right and then this looks like this looks like a little crafting kit of some sort and it, some really soft chunky yarn holding this together Let's see if i can get it untied curious if she uses the yarn and the instructions for this or not. So then we've got like ooh, some sawdust on there. A little um, like a little plywood board, particle board piece. And then in here, what have we got in here? Oh, I have no idea what that is. Is it chalk or something? Play? I'm not sure. And then in here, oh dear. Oh, so cool. So it looks like we've got, okay, this is gonna be really, really hard to show, but we've got um, some ceramic tile pieces, uh, some pieces of shells, little pieces of stone, and a really 
pretty like little Celtic knot charm. Hopefully you can see all of that. And then that must be what these instructions are for. So it's a Gaelic Sea Mosaic tile. So you make your own tile. So I wonder if that is some sort of like a clay of some sort to stick it all together. So this handcrafted kit was made so that you could create a Gaelic mosaic tile for your garden, altar, or sacred space. It comes with porcelain pieces similar to broken china from Ireland and Scotland, an echo wood square, shells, a Celtic knot medallion, and oyster gray sanded grout. Directions are included on how to make it, so be creative, add on what you want, and make it special to you. Mosaics have been an ancient way to express art and ritual for hundreds of years in Celtic regions and all over the world and can be an intentional piece to your home or practice. I love that. I love, 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 love when she does little crafting kits and recipes and stuff in the boxes instead of, I mean, I love the stuff that she makes, but I really like the stuff that I can make myself because then I can put my own intentions into it and it means something different to me. I got that grout all over me and I'm wearing black leggings and it's, it's, it's everywhere. All right, and then it looks like, oh, it looks like we've got a couple more things in here. So, oh, I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Ooh, that's so pretty. We've got this beautiful little um, piece of gold wax and this gorgeous, a uh, little Celtic knot wax seal. I've always wanted one of these. The wax seal. I mean, not that specifically the Celtic knot wax seal, but that is awesome. Uh, let's see. This is Gaelic Sailor's Knot Seal and Gold Wax Stick. Your new wax seal is a custom piece that was created just for this box and designed after the Sailor's Knot, which is a Celtic symbol that represents the sea in summertime. To be a keepsake of harmony, lasting love, friendship, protection, good fortune, and safe passage. It was considered an amulet that blessed the wearer when they traveled over the waters. You can now use it in your new sea log, your grimoire, grimoire to seal your letters, the tops of jars or spell bottles, or any other magical use. Simply light the wax stick, let it drip into a puddle large enough, then stamp the wax until it cools. That is super exciting. So I still send sand, snail, send snail mail to some of my girlfriends um, back home. So I will be sealing their cards and letters with the wax. And then it looks like this is the last item in the box in this cute little bag with a little seal stamp. And what do we got in here? Okay, I got interrupted by the phone. So the last item in the box, is the Gaelic Sea Protection and Prosperity Ritual. And I was trying to show you everything in the bag here. And this was the bag that it came in. And we've got these little um, beads, these little like teal beads, little shell beads, and a cute little, uh, cute little gold turtle charm. We got our little bag of herbs and it says that this is, uh, the herbs are sea kelp, Irish moss, red sea salt, and then I think that this shell um, goes with this as well. And then we've got this little um, paper wrap package here. really pretty so it's like a oyster shell painted gold and it's got um, like decoupage on it like a very vintage looking um, part of pieces of like the periodic table of elements and some little sketched flowers and a little bead glued on there like that so I'm wondering, does it say what this is in here? So handcrafted decoupaged oyster shell with liquid gold leaf, pearl and shell. That's what this is. Uh, sea kelp, Irish moss, red sea salt, tea light, shells, scroll, 
and charm. This kit has everything you need to create a ritual for protection and prosperity using the handmade oyster offering dish, each unique and created just for this box, and your special supplies to connect to the ancient guides of the Gaelic Sea. When you are done, you will have a special new tool for your altar that was lovingly made as if each one was a special dish for a Selkie, a piece of art that can give you energy from the ocean full of abundance. Um, and also it's not shells, it's more like little, I mean, there, it looks like a little, little shell, one little shell in there, but they're mostly like little, oh my goodness gracious, little beads. All right, so that was it in this box. I am excited. So I think my favorite items are going to have to be, I really like this bag just because super handy very very um practical um and i will use that a lot if not for foraging outside for crystals and such um i will be using it for produce at least when i go grocery shopping um i love 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 the little wax seal and this little journal with the ephemera kit is awesome and i'm very happy that i got the palm stones because just something about palm stones just feels really really good to me and I love that I got a second piece of this fire quartz because the last one I had, I hold it all the time and it always just feels very good and it just fits in my, fits in my hand very, very nicely and it feels soothing. Um, and then the artwork and the paper that she did everything on and the little baggies, all the details are just amazing. She does a really, really good job with this box. Um, and the next month's theme for September is going to be Golden Harvest. So looking forward to that. Go check out Kat's website at uh, wolfontime.com to check out all the other magical tools and the subscription boxes that she has on her site. Sometimes she has leftover boxes that she will put up um, for sale after the fact. Um, if you're interested in going and getting yourself one of these boxes, she might have some up for sale on there. Um, and yeah, that's it. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Oh, so, little post note. I did just go back and read that email that she had sent us about the typo and I was wrong. It is not a venturine. It is Amazonite. That was the mistake <laughs> in the description. So boo me, but Anyways, so it's Amazonite, not a Venturine, and it also mentioned that there was going to be another little extra special gift, so I'm assuming that that was the bag that we got in there. So anyways, thought I would clear that up since I went back and looked at it. Thanks again for watching. Bye.